Hello, this is an OXE video for problem 2.29 in the Kretzky textbook. This is related to the previous problem, 2.28, which was done in a previous video. And this question asks, for the well-insulated piston cylinder assembly containing one mole of ideal gas described in problem 2.28, describe the process by which you can obtain the maximum work from the system, calculate the value of the work, what is the final temperature, and why is this final temperature lower than the calculated value in problem 2.21. So now we need to find out how will this process obtain the maximum work from the system. And we know that um, we know that it is an adiab adiabatic, so therefore if we have the equation delta U is equal to Q plus W, we know that Q is zero, therefore delta U is equal to W. However, to find the maximum work, this process needs to be reversible because this process will follow a linear um, work dependent path. And therefore, to obtain the maximum work on the system, the system needs to be able to return to its, to its original state. And therefore, the system has to be linear in return in regards to the work path, and thus it needs to be reversible. So. so we know that in a reversible process, this relationship must be true. P1 V1 to the K is equal to P2 V2 to the K, where K is equal to the ratio of the heat capacity with constant pressure over constant volume. And we can find this ratio because we know that CV is equal to 5 over 2. And we know CP is equal to CV plus R. And therefore, we know that this ratio is 5 over 2 R plus R over 5 over 2, which is equal to, and the R's cancel out. Should be R there, that cancels out. 7 over 2 over 5 over 2. And this is equal to 1.4. So when we re rearrange this equation, to find, since we want to find the final volume, because we know the initial pressure and volume of 10 liters and 2 bars, and we know that P2, which is going to be the final pressure of the system, has to be equal to the equilibrium of the external pressure in order for this system to be reversible. And therefore, PE is equal to 1 bar, which will be equal to P2. And then when we solve this in terms of V2, we get V2 is equal to V1, P1 over P2 to the power of 1 divided by K. And we know K is 1.4. So if we, we can write this as V2 is equal to V1, P1 over P2 to the 1 over 1.4. And this power is only on the pressure and not on the volumes because only the volumes have this power term. Now if we continue this problem, we have V2 is equal to, since we know the initial volume was 10 liters, and we know the ratio of the pressures is 2 bar over 1 bar, to the power of 1 over 1.4. And units do not matter because these are all ratios. And then we get V2 is equal to 16.407 liters. We know that the system operates under ideal gas law equation. So we can find the both the initial and final temperature using the equation PV equals NRT and then temperature is equal to PV over NR 
and we know that T1, the initial temperature, is equal to the initial pressure of 2 bar times 10 liters over 1 mole times 314 times 10 to negative 2, which is the same as it should be in problem 2.28, as they both start under the same conditions, and that's 240.56 Kelvin. Now for the final temperature, we know that the final pressure is 1 bar, as that is the external pressure, and the external pressure is equal to the internal pressure under a reversible process. We know the final volume of 16.407 liters. We divide it by the same ratio, 1 mole times 8.314 times 2, and we get a new final temperature of 197.34 Kelvin. And now, in order to find, we need to find the work for this process. And we know that work is equal to delta U as this process is adiabatic. And we have both of the temperatures, so it's easier to solve. You could solve in terms of volume, but it is much easier to solve with um, the temperatures. So we have it's equal to the integral of ncv dt, but n is equal to 1. Is 1. And then we get cv is 5 over 2r. And then we do the final temperature minus the initial temperature. And we get, we have, we have to use R of 8.314 because we're trying to find work in joules. So we get negative 898 joules. Now, the last part of the question asked, why is this temperature why is this temperature lower than the temperature we found in problem 2.28? And that temperature that we found was 206.19 Kelvin from the previous problem. And now we find T2 is equal to 197.34 Kelvin. Now, the reason for this is that this process is reversible. And when you have a reversible process, it means that there's the maximum work that, we, that can be obtained from the um, system. And that means when you have the maximum work done, from the system, when you have the maximum work obtained from the system, it means that the temperature must decrease. Which makes sense because if you put in more work, if more work is extracted from a system, as we found work was negative, therefore there has to be something that's losing more compared to previously. And in this case, it is the temperature that is decreasing because we know that the internal energy is equal to delta T, which is equal to work. And because we have more work done here, that means that this integral has to be larger. And because the moles are constant and the ratio, we're assuming that this is ideal gas, and then we can assume that there's constant heat capacity, which was 5 over 2R. Thus, the integral needs to be over a larger span, and therefore the temperature difference has to be greater. And thus, if we have the initial temperature to be the same, therefore the final temperature must be lower to obtain a greater temperature difference. Thank you.